So welcome to day 23 of our Hackerang 30 days coding challenge. Today we are going to be talking about binary search tree level order traversal. So we are going to write a function that does a level order traversal on a binary search tree and prints out the data in each of the nodes. So that's as simple as it is and clear to understand, but it requires a bit of work. So let me go to my whiteboard and let's, let me show you exactly how we are going to do this. So now if you have a binary search tree, for instance, we have this tree, we have this one and we have these three nodes. Let's say we have four here and we have two here and we have six. So level of the traversal goes from root goes to left and goes to right. So if we apply it here, in this case, we now have four, two, six, all right? So if I make it a bit, uh, add a, bit, a few more nodes, let's say we have one here and we have, let's say three, all right? So what do we do? Again, we go from root, left, right. In this case, the root here is 4. Now, the left at this point is, is this. However, we are going to consider this tree. So, it's going to be 4, 2, 6. 4, 2, 6. And then we go to the next level here and do one, three, okay? So this is how it goes. So we are traversing it from each of the level like this. So traverse here, go here and here. So let's see what the algorithm might look like. Normally to implement a level order traversal or breakfast search, we need to use a queue. It's always better to use a queue to do it. So what we are going to do now is this. So we first gonna check if there is an if the if the node is empty if the root is empty so let me call this function uh def sorry let me just so let's assume we have this function def uh level level let's call it level order and we are given the root of the tree okay now the first thing we want to check is if the root is empty if root is empty. If the root is empty, we simply return because there is nothing to traverse, nothing to print. Else. Now, this is where it gets important. Actually, we don't need this else statement. So, if the root is empty, return. Now, the next thing we are going to check is to so check the left. Uh, so I'm going to check if, wait, give me one second, let me just take out this. If the root is empty, return, else the root is not empty. So what we are going to do is to declare a queue that's going to hold the items. So queue is empty and at this point we are going to push because at this point, it did not return, it's, it's not empty. So we are going to push the whatever is in the root onto the queue. So I'm going to say queue dot append. We append what is in the root to the queue. All right. So I'm going to say root dot data. All right. So we've added it to the queue now and we are going to allow it to be there for a second. Now we are going to check for the left and right subtree. So I'm going to say I'm going to say if. So let's let's get it right. So we have a queue. We have something in the queue. Now we are going to recursively check for the left and right subtree. Okay. So I'm going to say while queue is not empty let me just say not empty so in this case i usually we have one single element and we put it into the queue and it's not empty we are going to print it so i'm going to print print it out 
I'm going to print Q uh, Q dot pop. So I'm going to print it out. Uh, but if I use pop here, I'm going to remove the item from the queue. So what I'm going to do first, uh, I'm going to say node is equal to queue uh, queue. One second, node is equal to queue uh, dot pop zero, and then I'm going to print. That's where the print statement is going to come here. Print node here dot data okay all right so we've taken out something from the queue and printed it so it's like we printed this one because we have a print here print here print here so what we are going to check is that if because we are still inside the while loop so i'm going to say if if at this point the node which we extracted from the queue and in this case this is no longer necessary if node dot left, if node dot left exists, we are simply going to add the item to the queue. So I'm going to say queue dot append, and we append node dot left, and again if we have Nodes, I think you understand the flow at this point. Node dot right as this we add it to the queue. So we have if we have this two, we added this to the queue, we added this to the queue. Alright. And at this point, we are gonna go back to check. Is the queue empty? No. We are gonna pop. The first one that was added was the left. It's gonna we are gonna pop and print. So in this case, we printed four, we now have two, we pop and print, we have six. So, and it checks whether it's empty. If it's empty at this point, it's going to stop. But if not, it's going to check here. And then it continues recursively until everything is printed. So let's go ahead to write it in the code. And I think that will make sense. So I'm going to go down and we are going to write the code here. So the first thing I'd like to do is to check if the root is empty. If it's, if it's an empty tree, we simply return. So if um, root, if the root is equal to none, simply return. Okay, if now the root is none, simply return. In this case, the root is not none, we need a queue. So I'm gonna say queue is equal to an empty queue and I'm going to push that root item to the queue so I'm going to push it to the queue by saying our queue dot append I'm going to append the root to the queue so now we have one item in the queue okay we have one item in the queue let me enlarge this a little bit now the next thing we want to do now is to check uh, whether the queue is empty and if the queue is not empty we simply print it out so i'm going to say while uh length of length of the queue is not equal to zero so while there is something in the queue while the length of the queue is not equal to zero what are we going to do we are going to simply extract the item for the from, remove the item from the queue and print it so I'm going to say node is equal to queue dot pop and in, when you are using queue dot pop you simply need to specify the, the, the item at which point you want to pop so in this case item at zero if you are working with stack you don't need this uh, this parameter here or this argument here okay so once we pop this then we are going to print it. So I'm going to print node.data and n is equal to this. Okay, so this is what we have right here. Um, yeah, so the next thing we are going to do now, we've printed out something from the queue and we are now going to check this node, uh, whether it has a left and a right, a left and a right subtree or not. 
So I'm going to say if node.left is not equal to none. So if it has a right, a left subtree, I'm simply going to push it onto the queue. I'm simply going to say queue.append node.left. And I'm going to do the same thing for the right subtree. So if node.right is not equal to none, I'm going to push it to the queue node.right. Okay, so this is fine. So when I push this tool to the queue, let me just give it space here. Then we are going to go back to while. So in this case, it finds out the queue is not empty because of course we removed the original one, but we already now have the left and the right. And it's going to print what is in the left because it's going to extract the item at point zero, which was inserted first, which is this one, the left one, and do it with the right one. And the process is going to repeat until it prints out everything in the tree. <laughs> I hope it's going to work. Let me just run it and let's see if this works. I, I think it, you need to just take some time to get your head around it and it will all make sense. So node object has no attributes rights. Uh, so there is a typo somewhere, it's R-I-G-H-T, I think, R-I-G-H-T, G-H-T, and I think this should be it. So I'm going to run the code one more time, and I think it should work. So it worked for the sample test case zero, so I'm going to submit this code now to see if it passes all the test cases. All right, it seems everything worked fine, so it passes the three test cases. And at this point, I'd like to give you a big thumbs up for, for coming this far. Uh, it's not quite easy, but I think we'll make, true, we'll make it true. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And also, I appreciate, I will appreciate if you will leave me a comment to let me know uh, if this has been informative for you and something you may want me to improve. Please let me know in the comment box below. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.